now we're bringing up Julia Half Kendall. Hello, it's an honor to be here. Thanks, Rachel, and thanks to everyone at CGU. Um, I'm Julia Half Kendall. I'm the Lincoln Visiting Artist in Ceramics at Scripps and Claremont Graduate oh. University here. My job is to teach two ceramics classes to the undergrads at Scripps College and to meet with grad students who work in all different mediums here at CGU. Um, I'm essentially the CGU grad student's link to the ceramics facilities at Scripps. Uh, I'd like to talk about the inclusion of ceramics in sculpture education. Ceramics has had a tendency to keep itself separate due to its process, facilities, and associations to the craft world. And I, th I see this dramatically changing. So it used to be that functional versus non-functional equaled craft versus art. Uh, when Peter Volkus made the change from functional pottery to non-utilitarian sculpture, he did so to define his work as fine art, not craft. Negating the function was what validated it, allowed it into the mainstream contemporary art world. Now, things are different. There is still a segment of ceramics that fit into the craft category, but I believe this is mostly by choice. Other artists participate in the contemporary art dialogue and use ceramics, their works, use ceramics, their work sometimes, but not necessarily focusing on craftsmanship and technique. The works these artists make fit into the broad category of sculpture due to the fact that they are 3D, sculptural, even if made from clay and sometimes have a traditional function. I have recently seen a lot of ceramic work in contemporary art galleries that is functional, or at least appears so. The issue is no longer based on function, rather the artist's intention and context. As many of you have probably noticed, there has been a surge of ceramic-themed exhibitions at galleries that are not typical ceramics galleries. In fact, the idea that galleries have to be ceramics galleries to show work that is made from clay now seems like an outdated idea. And galleries at least say that they don't discriminate based on medium, only whether the work is good. Many people showing in these group ceramics exhibitions have not been traditionally trained in clay, but have come to it after spending many years painting or making sculpture with other materials. The surge of ceramics into mainstream art, however, also allows for those who have been, making, have been working in the material for decades to gain more art world recognition than maybe wasn't possible in the past. Artists like John Mason having a solo show at David Kordansky in Los Angeles, and Ron Nagel being included in the Dirt on Delight exhibition at the Institute for Contemporary Art in Philadelphia, and the Paul Clay show in Sal at Salon 94 in New York demonstrates this. With other younger artists, the issue of traditional training becomes blurred and perhaps, in some cases, not important. So although I have only a year and a quarter so far in my position at CGU and Scripps, I have become more confident in my point of view that ceramics facilities and knowledge of the processes are import an important part of any sculpture program. I also think students applying to grad school who have a BFA in ceramics are often forced to make a choice in their education. Go to a school with a great ceramics facility but is not very connected to the art world, or go to an art school with great connections and contemporary art and contemporary artists as professors, but little or no ceramics facilities. There are only a couple institutions that have a combination of both, and I'd like to, I would like to see more art schools adapting models like CGU and Scripps have done so far. When teaching undergraduate ceramics, there's a lot to cover. I think it's important to go on field trips when opportunities arise, like the Urs Fischer install at MOCA. Um, I got to show the, my students the world of an art star. I want to be able to reference art history, ceramic history, and contemporary art all within a semester of wheel throwing or hand building. I try to show the history of the medium, taking them to the Mara collection, the Mara ceramics collection here at Scripps, where you can touch and explore a huge variety of ceramic work with pieces by Betty Woodman, June Kaneko. And I also think it's important to discuss the works of Ai Weiwei and um, how he works with the medium. 
And also tell them that if you come up with the right idea, with the right look, at the right time, in the right context, like Sterling Ruby, you can make an ashtray and it's contemporary art. Thank you. <laughs>